Assalamu alaikum, guys. Do you like story time? I love stories, especially this book here. It's really, really cool. You guys know Roald Dahl, right? Author of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, The BFG, Matilda, you know, James and the Giant Peach, all the great stories that we read when we were children and still watch their movies until now. So he wrote a book called Going Solo, and it's a true story about him traveling around, you know, in the world as a pilot during World War II, right? So this was during 1939 to 1945. Very important that you remember the date, right? Because I'm going to get some facts straight today. So if you go to page 194, it's basically he was in Philistine, Palestine, as he states here in the book, right? Since we don't really believe, you know, maps and real history books, so maybe this will change your mind, right? Since he's the one who wrote it, it's not me saying this. And he basically says he's landing, he was going to go somewhere in, in Haifa um, with his plane, the Hurricane, and he lands and this man comes out of the fig trees with him, a whole bunch of children, and he tells him, you know, welcome to our little settlement, you know. And then after that, he says, I asked him, but who are you and who are all these children? I asked. We are Jewish refugees, he said. The children are orphans and this is our home. And I asked, refugees from where? And how did you get here? And anyway, the man invites him into his little hut and his wife is standing there making some coffee. And the man tells him, you seem surprised to find us here. I am, I said, I wasn't expecting to find anyone. We are everywhere, the man said. We are all over the country. Forgive me, I said, but I don't understand. Who do you mean by we? Jewish refugees. Goes on, and then I said, is this your land, I asked him. Not yet, he said. Not yet, he said. You mean you're hoping to buy it? He looked at me in silence for a while, then he said, the land is at present owned by a Palestinian farmer. He's the one who's saying, but he has given us permission to live here. He has also allowed us some fields so that we can grow our own food. And I ask him, so where do you go from here? You and all your orphans. We don't go anywhere. He said, smiling through his black beard. We stay here. Then you will all become Palestinians. I said, or perhaps you are that already. He smiled again, presumably, at the naivety of my questions. No, the man said, I don't think we will become Palestinians. Then what will you do? And he said, you are a young man who is flying airplanes, and I don't expect you to understand our problem. And, you know, they keep on talking. They go on. We go to page 198, and he says, we need a homeland, the man was saying. We need a country of our own. Even the Zulus have Zulu land, but we have nothing. You mean the Jews have no country? Again, this is Roald Dahl saying. That's exactly what I mean, he said. It's time we had one. But how in the world are you going to get yourselves a country? They're all occupied. Norway belongs to the Norwegians and Nicaragua belongs to the Nicaraguans. It's the same all over. We shall see, the man said, sipping the coffee. And then I said, you could have Germany when we have beaten Hitler. And then perhaps England would give you Germany. We don't want Germany, the man said. Then which country do you have in mind? I asked him, displaying more ignorance than ever. If you want something badly enough, he said, and if you need something badly enough, you can always get it. Get the book. Maybe people will believe when they read this. Maybe since, you know, they don't really believe facts and maps and Bibles, their own Bibles, which is really, subhanAllah, just mind-boggling. Um, maybe they'll believe Roald Dahl. Interesting. Get the book. It's called Going Solo. I hope you enjoyed the story. But it's not a story. It's a reality.